गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन द ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट ओके दिस इज़ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आवर रे ऑप्टिक्स चैप्टर ओके एंड लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव फिनिश्ड आवर रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू द प्रिज्म एंड वन मोर टॉपिक लेफ्ट दे आर दैट इज़ अ स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट दैट विल बी डिस्कस्ड एट द लास्ट लेक्चर ओके सो in this particular lecture uh, we are going to start op our optical instruments okay okay so our first optical instrument is simple microscope okay students so let's going to start so very first uh, let's uh, discuss about the optical instrument what is the optical instrument using the reflecting and refracting properties of uh, mirrors lenses and prism many optical instrument have been designed uh, like microscopes telescopes etc our eye is a natural optical device okay uh, all of you know very well our eye is a natural optical device okay so later on we will discuss about the human eye in detail okay uh here first we have to discuss <coughs> simple microscope okay so the question arise in your mind that is what is the microscope microscope is an optical instrument okay which forms large image of close and minute object okay clear you can see the definition microscope is an optical in uh, is an optical instrument which forms large image of close and minute object okay a very short definition <coughs> okay simple microscope is a uh, converging lens okay it is having a converging lens that is your convex lens okay which have a small focal length okay so when an object is a distance less than the focal length of the of the lens the image obtained is virtual erect and magnified image okay what i said when an image is at a at a distance less than the focal length of the lens the image obtained is virtual erect and magnified okay so when the object is at a distance equal to the focal length okay when the object is at a distance equal to the focal length of the lens the image is formed at infinity these uh, these are the uh, the uh, these are the properties of uh, convex lens you can say okay uh, in uh, concept of mirror we will discussed about the image formation at the different different uh, positions okay it is one of them in case of uh, convex lens okay so uh, what are the key points over this uh, 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 of uh, this particular lecture first one is the angular magnification second one is the least distance of most dis uh, least distance of most distinct vision and another one is derivation of magnification of simple microscope okay so first we are going to discuss concept of linear magnification okay okay see the figure see the figure what the uh, uh, word angular magnification describe if i separate these two words angular plus magnification okay so uh, we have already uh, discussed what is the linear magnification okay what is the linear magnification the height of an image to the height of an object okay this ratio is called the linear magnification but in case of lens we have angular magnification okay because we have observing the object at a uh, by making some angle okay as you can see in the figure here is your human eye and uh, this observer is observing this object 
making some angle with the principal axis okay so here we have the angular magnification okay so uh, theoretically uh, it is said that it can be said that the angular magnification or you can say magnifying power of a simple microscope is defined as the ratio of angle subtended by angle subtended by at the eye by image okay angle subtended by angle subtended at the eye by the image at near point okay at near point that is beta this you can see that this angle is beta okay and the angle subtended by the unaided eye by the object at the near point okay this this one this alpha okay so the ratio of these two angles is called the angular magnification or magnifying power of the simple microscope okay mathematically uh, it can be represented as magnifying power equals to beta upon alpha clear next one is the distinct vision okay what is the distinct vision distinct vision is represented by capital d okay as you can see in the figure the minimum distance at which object can be seen clearly the minimum distance at which object can be seen clearly is called the distinct vision okay as you can see that in this figure this is your human eye this is your eye and uh, this is your object okay so at this particular distance this human eye can see clearly this object but if i move this object toward this eye there is some pressure on uh, on uh, human eye okay and the image uh, is not clear as this point as compared to this point okay similarly if i uh, move this object away from the human eye there is uh, uh, there is also change in the uh, size of the object it may be uh, big or small okay okay so this distance this is this is called the minimum distance which can be uh, distance at which the object can be seen clearly okay so this distance is called what distinct vision okay and for human eye the value of distinct vision is 25 centimeter okay this is the very important uh, topic in this particular lecture okay so keep in mind what is the distinct vision i hope you understand now we have to find the derivation of the magnification of simple microscope okay so uh, magnifying power or magnification what is the magnification uh, as uh, as we have discussed earlier that magnifying power or magnification or angular magnification is the uh, mathematically is given by beta upon alpha m equals to beta upon alpha okay so there are two uh, cases first one when object when the image is formed at the near point okay when object is formed at the near point okay when the uh, when the image is formed at the near point okay so for this we have considered our object in between the focal length and the optical center okay so the ray which is uh, coming parallel to the principal axis from this particular object after refraction passing through the focus okay passing through the focus and the ray which is passing through the optical center the ray which is coming from this particular object and passing through the optical center okay uh, there is no deviation in this particular ray okay according to the rules there is no deviation in this particular ray okay so as you can see in the figure these two rays never intersect each other at this particular direction but 
if I extend behind okay extend behind so uh, there is a intersection in these two uh, rays okay at some distance where the image will be formed okay so this will be your image of this particular object say the height of your, ob your object is ho and the height of an image is hi okay and the angle subtended by this particular image will be beta okay and the angle subtended by this that will be your alpha okay so from these two particular triangles we have to calculate the value of these angles beta and alpha okay so case number one when image is formed at the when image is formed at the near point okay so your magnifying power m equals to beta upon alpha for a small angle 10 beta equals to beta so we can write beta equals to 10 beta and alpha equals to 10 alpha so m becomes 10 beta upon 10 alpha okay so what is the value of 10 beta and what is the value of 10 alpha 10 beta equals to h o upon u and 10 alpha equals to h o upon d you can see in the figure what is the value of 10 beta here is your angle beta so 10 beta is what perpendicular perpendicular upon base okay so h o this will be your object height h o and this will be your distance of an object that is u so h o upon u okay and what is the tan alpha this will be your tan alpha so this is h o this is also h o okay this is also this distance is also h o okay so what is the value of a tan alpha perpendicular upon base so h o divide by what is the what is this distance this is the distinct region that is d so h naught upon h o upon d this will be your tan alpha so the magnifying power or magnification becomes m equals to h o upon u divided by h no h o upon d this h o and h o we cancel out so we have magnifying power m equals to d upon u this will be your equation number one by the lens formula we know that for convex lens 1 upon f equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u and the focal length of convex lens is always positive so here we have so here we have v equals to minus d and u equals to minus u okay both the distance are taken from the optical center of the lens so keep these values in the lens formula we get 1 upon f equals to minus 1 upon d and minus minus becomes plus so it becomes plus 1 upon u okay so 1 upon u equals to 1 upon f plus 1 upon d if i shift this particular term toward the left uh, to the left hand side it becomes 1 upon u equals to 1 upon f plus 1 upon d again 1 upon u equals to taking lcm here f into d equals to d plus f if i calculate the value of uh, u then it becomes u equals to f into d upon d plus f okay so put the value of this u in the equation of your magnifying power m so it becomes d upon f into d divided by d plus f or d into d plus f upon f into d this d and d will cancel out each other so we have m equals to d plus f upon f okay so m equals to if i separate the uh, denominator m equals to d upon f plus f upon f this f and f will cancel out each other so m equals to 1 plus d by f okay this is the magnifying power when the image is formed at the near point okay now come to the case number two 
when image is formed at infinity so in this particular case if i want the image is at inf uh, at infinity then we have to shift our object at the focal focus point okay so the image will be formed at the infinity okay no need to uh, no need to explain how the image is formed at infinity you you know the uh, the rules of image formation very well okay so the value of your object u becomes f so u equals to f your focal length okay an image is formed at infinity so what is the magnifying power m equals to 10 beta upon 10 alpha we already have the value of 10 beta that is h o upon u but here we have the value of object distance of an object u equals to f so it becomes h o upon f okay there is no change in the value of 10 alpha it remains same h o upon d this h o and h o will cancel out so we have we get m equals to d upon f this is the magnifying power of a simple microscope when the image is formed at infinity okay so i hope all of you uh, understand very well okay if you have any doubts you can ask uh, or you can uh, text me a uh, message through the whatsapp or you can ask in the comment box okay so this is the end of our first optical instrument that is simple microscope okay the numerical uh, can be asked from this particular uh, topic uh, which is based on uh, directly on the magnifying power that is uh, your m equals to 1 plus d by f and m equals to d by f okay so no need to worry about that uh, the very simple numericals will be asked from this particular topic okay okay so study hard and uh, uh, keep me uh, motivate me for uh, preparing videos for you okay uh, if there is any confusion in your mind please ask to me okay uh, you can message me on my whatsapp number okay thank you so much uh, in next uh, in next lecture we will continue with uh, our uh, next optical instrument that is compound microscope okay thank you so much